Hi Goody YouTube, I'm Max and today I want to talk to you about being baited by the infamous waifu tags and as you can see I bought some Dark Magician Girl sleeves, um, a binder and uh, the playmat and to be straight up they look nice but uh, they don't look as nice as I would have expected um, especially the binder and you can see the artwork on here is simply the Dark Magician Girl artwork from the 2022 tins, um, which is one of the cooler ones in my opinion. Um, it's also featured on the sleeves, which look, yeah, a little better than the binder in my opinion. And then there's the playmat, which is okay as well, but um, yeah, not more and uh, not nothing less. But um, what led me down is the comparison between other binders uh, and other sleeves that Konami produced in uh, the recent years. And first of all, I bought quite a lot of those um, and of the sleeves and of the playmats because I was thinking, okay, um, this one older product, uh, playmats, binders and sleeves, um, was very nice um, in terms of the artwork, not so much uh, in terms of the quality. Those Konami sleeves usually tend to uh, break on uh, the sides, so um, you can only use them if you put outer sleeves around them, but uh, if you do and you have clear outer sleeves, uh, it can look pretty decent. Um, but I pre-ordered some of them and um, by now, um, upon release, the price dropped by quite a bit, so um, yeah. Um, that was not uh, like I intended it to be, but maybe in a few years these will uh, go up in value again if they are not too overly mass produced, uh, which I'm sure Konami will do to a certain degree. So um, I will have to wait and take my time or otherwise I will have to take the L on, on that. And um, just to compare it with uh, another binder, this uh, Sacred Beasts one, you can see that there are some highlights in the in the holo foiling, like the teeth of Uriah and uh, not uh, the teeth of Slyfels, the Egyptian god, not Sacred Beast Binder. What am I talking? Um, but this one has like the same uh, the same picture on front and back, and that's something the Dark Magician Girl Binder um, does a little better because it has a different artwork on the back um, and even one more that's hidden in here. But um, the best artwork, in my opinion, for Konami binders is the Golden Duelist portfolio. And I think that's the case because you can see so many detailed holo effects on here. All the other cards in the background, which are cards on, uh, out of different, different times of Yu-Gi-Oh, different formats. And you can see classic ones like Grass for Charity, you can see Goyo Guardian. Uh, you can see Cyberstein, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, Pot of Greed, Ragaki, Exodia, all that good stuff from the past. Um, but also some newer ones on the uh, on the front with uh, Synchro Monsters and stuff. Um, Necros up here. With, uh, can we? Yeah, there. This is a Necros card, I think. Um, Ultimate uh, Conductor Tyranno and stuff. So this one has a lot of a lot of detail. It has a lot of nice uh, holographic secret rare-ish foiling. So, um, yeah, this is uh, yeah very expensive by now. Uh, this is a used one. I have some cards in here. Yay. Uh, I think that's my starter deck Kyber first edition binder. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. I don't have a blue eyes in English first, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, sometimes I get some cards for uh, the starter decks and then I put them in here. And um, what I just wanted to show you is how much better this binder looks, in my opinion. I mean, uh, the mostly black design is cool with the golden highlights. I mean, it's called Golden Duelist Portfolio for a reason. And um, yeah, the attention to detail in here uh, or on here is way bigger than with this, yeah, more of a semi-lazy design for the Dark Magician Girl one. They could have could have done a better better job at the background uh, with some kind of secret rare effect, maybe on the Dark Magic Circle or something. Um, the artworks itself are okay, but um, the surroundings, the holographic effects and stuff, um, I would have expected them to be better, and um, I was kind of let down a little bit by this. Um, but I want to hear your opinion on this. 
which of the three binders shown in here, so the Dark Magician Girl one, the Golden Duelist portfolio and the Egyptian God one, uh, which is the best looking in your opinion and why. Um, just a quick discussion and um, yeah, have you bought some of these um, and what do you think will they do in terms of value over the next few years? Just let me know and um, I'm eager to read what you have to write about that. So uh, as always, thank you for watching, see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! and goodbye!